Well, everyone is comparing.、Um, only by comparison, one can understand. This human understanding is such. By comparison, you will know nothing about the existence. Our comparison to the virus now is taking back us to the Spanish flu, to the First World War, to the Second World War experiences. Other viruses that has invaded us, trying to sample it that way. Remember, also the Great Depression they call it in the nineteen twenties. Well, the populations were pretty different then. We managed in the last hundred years of a shy of that number increase our world population almost by double of that. I don't want to go into numbers because numbers does not have any meaning to what I'm going to say, and your logic is not going to fit into what I'm trying to actually explain in a simple form. What I'm trying to explain here is that everyone, by comparison, trying to put a model to see if it'll fit the challenges we face going into the future, but there are opportunities. There are opportunities seen by individuals who find advantage by keeping their pockets full. By keeping their pockets full, these individuals have always seen their happiness and their joy came from yours and your neighbors and other people's struggle and suffering. And also, it causes a tremendous joy. I should say, you will see it all the time. All the time, people see that yes, I've got a more upgraded phone than you have, so you feel better than me. It seems that kind of an ideology, that kind of an idea in human mind. At the same time, remember. In nineteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds, people realized that what hundred people could not do today, a little child could use their finger to maneuver a program. That you could drive a plane, fly a plane, or dig. The biggest quarry from a remote site, or even address the entire humanity from wherever you are in this planet, a Buddha, all the religious finders or founders, two thousand years ago, try to pass on a message like this. That only about ten, few handful could ever be able to hear it when they spoke. But when I speak today, the entire world could listen in to me. Not even listen in, see me from where I'm speaking. We have empowered the world in a way that was never possible before. So by not including humanity. For finding the solutions to the human problem that we all face today, the human species are facing here on the today because of a virus. If we eliminate and cause the suffering to the countless number of human beings on Earth, yes, we will face even more disastrous situation than the virus has caused us today. I wish and I hope every leader, every human being, who are in reach of the life of others and their welfare, must reach out and consciously remind themselves that they must include, <laughs> include every human being. Into the process of life, and this is a great example. Even the tiniest of the child could be a contributory factor 
in our solution for a human concern. 